Hello everyone, this is DA from Me Academy, and today this video is the introductory video that I'm going to start a series about Stelj's integrals, or I think I should say the Riemann integrals, and then we will proceed to the Stelj integral. So in this video, we'll talk about what is meant by partition of any interval and what is the importance of this partition when we're talking about an interval in the integrals. So let's start the video. So here we have a real line that have elements x naught to xn and for a finite set of elements that contains x naught to xn, x naught to xn and I am denoting x0 with a and xn with b just for the sake of simplicity that we are familiar with the intervals of the form that it is if, if it is closed then with the a b and if it is open then a b of this type that is why I'm, I'm denoting x0 with a and xn with b so and all the elements are between a and b with the x1 x2 and so on to x xn minus 1 and xn so if we have a set of a x1 x2 so on to xn minus 1 and b what is a a is x naught and what is b b is xn so this set this is a finite set of real numbers is is said to be a partition of a closed interval uh, it is denoted by a closed interval a and b right so what is a again a is x naught and what is b b is xn and every element every preceding element is is greater than x naught every element x1 is is greater than x naught x2 is greater than x1 and so on so there is a relation between the elements of this set that a is less than x1 x1 is less than x2 and x2 is less than x3 and so on where b is the largest element in this set so this is a partition of a closed interval if we have the these conditions so again if we have a finite set of elements of real numbers like this, then it is said to be a partition of the closed interval if it has this property and like this is the definition of the partition of any when we're talking about any closed elements or any real elements in, in the integral that we will use when we are going to define what is meant by the integral in the pure terms. So what is meant by so if we have a closed interval we have a closed interval of this of this step a and b with these type of elements this is a partition then we can define that we have a sub interval in the in these terms that we can have the sub interval if we have this as a partition then we can define a sub interval like so this is the kth sub interval of this of this partition a b so this x k minus 1 x k is a kth sub interval of this partition and we can we can extract any sub interval of our choice of our of our concern from any partition that is given so if we have because this is only one partition that we are discussing right now because there are infinitely many possibilities of of such partitions so we can make a set of all of these partitions so if we make a set of all of these partitions then we will denote it with this p with this p that this is a set of such type of partitions that are closed so this is called this is the set that have all of the partitions of a and b right so that so we'll see some of the examples or the visual aspect of what is meant by this thing so here we are so here we have three partitions from the set of all of the partitions p1 p2 and p3 so p1 have an elements between 0 and 1 there are three elements and p2 in between 0 and 1 there are 1 2 3 4 5 elements and one what about uh, part third partition there are two elements so we can make a relation that p2 is a superset of both of p1 and p3 so when we are going to make a statement about p2 with respect to p1 and p3 so P2 is a superset of P1 as well as P2 is a superset of P3. And when we are going to make a relation about P1 and P3, then P1 is a superset of P3. 
or P3 is a subset of P1. So this is, so if from this, we can say that P2 is a finer partition other than P1 and P3. And here, P1 is a finer partition than P3. So this is the statement of what is meant by a partition in order to figure out the finer partition or the refinement of any partition. So you can work on any of the partitions with elements uh, with of your choice. That is the very most important of the partitions are of this type 0 to 0 to 1 that having a formula of 2 to the power 2 to the power n. I think 1 by 2 to the power n is more suitable. And when we are going in between 0 to 1, then there is also a very 1 by n. You can work on these partitions in order to, in order to understand this concept more easily. So this is for now. Looking for most of the videos, and you can subscribe to this channel to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.